okay here I'm going to try to make a title and I'm going to make it follow the insect but it's a little harder because I have to turn the title sideways and also change the scale and position and a number of other things and to top it all off I wasn't I didn't have my camera my video camera on a fixed position I was holding it so it's kind of jumpy so it won't look perfect but if I had it on a tripod it would be really easy to follow the insect okay so I've made a title file new title and I wrote the, my website in there and I'm just going to drag it onto here and it's unfortunately it, well it's in red don't know how visible that will be so maybe I'll double click I can edit the title anytime I double click and uh, the color here I'm just going to choose white although it did look pretty cool so I've got a white title now I go into the effects and this is the motion effect you know I could use 3D effect as well the motion effect look I can just um, move the rotation so you see how and then I can just use the this buttons here to to move it and then I can keyframe the position so when this moves the title follows so that's one way to do it uh, another way is to do a 3D gives it a 3D look or a camera view both those special effects will turn your sign sideways okay and the next thing to do is to try to follow it so I'm going to line it up uh, I'm going to try and get the line I'm going to try and get it right on top of the caterpillar I always call it a caterpillar it's a millipede or something okay and I, I say remember this position remember this scale remember this rotation now I'm just going to go along a little and when I start to, to lose it I'm going to drag it back on and I'm just going to ro rotate it a degree and maybe lift it a little higher okay so let's see what that looks like okay look at that that's following well so I try and think of the space from the tail here oops from the tail that's what I'll use as a reference now up a little rotation again so I'm just doing rotation and move tool and it looks like I'm gonna have to put the scale down a little and rotation just a little too much okay and distance from the tail I, I remember what that was so I've got a little smaller uh, oops wrong layer and bring it down just a little oh, rotation ah it's hard to get this rotation precise okay oh it looks like it bounced up there but there's not really much it was my my camera holding okay as soon as it goes down I've got to put it up goes on a long little more I better put it up again and look it needs to be rotated just a little again so it's kind of following you see pretty cool uh, a little higher scale a little down so I had to change the scale because as it gets further away it gets smaller and I don't think I did it enough so I have to delete this keyframe and make the scale even smaller and this is probably as much as I want to do it because I will begin to lose too much of the effect so probably here is where my last effects will be delete these ones, shorten the clip and let's see what this looks like and the good thing about Premiere Pro is there's hundreds of different ways to do the same thing oh, it looked like it shrunk a little too fast, you see that? So it's hard to get that shrinking at the right time. What causes that? Too much of a shrinking there. Not enough in the beginning. Let's try and delete this keyframe. This is about as much as I want to shrink it. It just doesn't look good. Smaller even if the proportions stay the same. 
Okay, so that's as good as I'm, well, you know, that's as good as I'm prepared to get it for this demonstration, but, you know, you can go through frame by frame and really line this thing up really well. Sometimes it takes a little skill, and that's how you get your titles to follow certain objects or something like that. And there's so many things you can do. Let's take a quick look at the camera view and 3D effect. These are both great effects. Um, distort, transform, where is camera view? Tra camera view. Well, why did I do that? I wonder if I can make it transparent. Fill color, I don't want fill color. Okay, obviously this is not a good thing to use because look at that. Put a black mark on there. So effects, 3D effect. 3D is in perspective. Let's see if this one will just let me change 